Good day guys, Ben here. Um, today let's model um, this family. So it will be a, a pattern based family. So we can place it on, uh, on the mast. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's create a, a pattern based family. Okay, so from this uh, sketch we can see that uh, there are two panels and uh, the, the top panel fixed onto this edge and then the lower the bottom panel fixed onto the top panel okay so it can be opened and then this is the, uh, where it's closed okay so let's do it so in this one in this family so let me just find Okay, so one, that's one, two, three, four. That's okay. So uh, we're going to um, just, just, uh, I'll place the top panel here, and then, um, so what uh, we need to do is, we need to place, uh, so place some points. Okay, so place, draw a point, and draw a face. So place it on this written sign, and another one here. And then another one here and another one here. So, and then another point, another two points actually. So draw on word plan and set word plan. This time, we need to pick the horizontal word plan. So this one. So okay. So tab, tab, and pick this word plan and place it on the point. And okay. So repeat, set word plan, pick, tab, tab, pick and place it on the point. So now we can drag this point up. So uh, now if we do a sketch, so if we do a uh, sorry screenshot of this, so then this I, if I connect these two, so and this will be the the panel. Okay, so this will be the the, the lower panel, and this will be the top panel. And so let me just remove this. Um, so if I have so because we have this point and then we offset so this is 90 degree right and then we can work out or uh, the location of these points okay so first we will need to get a a reporting parameter let's call it w1 okay so this is the the length so uh, the distance between these two points so this one and this one and let's do it. So set word plan and pick this uh, reference line. Di dimension. So pick these points. So once again, set word plan. Di and another dimension. So select this dimension and create a parameter. Let's call it W1 instance reporting. So then this one. We'll cre uh, create another parameter w2 instance reporting okay so now so if if we go back to this so because when these uh, these two panel uh, when it's closed the uh, the overall uh, um, width or uh, yeah it's quite a width so this edge Okay, so this edge plus this edge equals the W1. So each of them equals W1 divided by 2. Okay, so, so, um, and um, here actually we, we need a, an angle parameter. So to control these panels, so I'm going to use this angle. Okay, so this angle. So let's call it, um, what do we call it? Let's call it uh, angle A, okay? Angle A. So in this triangular shape, so angle we know angle A. We know this, which is W one divided by two. We can get all the rest, okay? So this one and this one, okay? So first, let's just create a angular parameter. Let's create A instance and angle and okay so um, let's just type so for example three uh, 30 degrees and okay 
So now if we go back here, so in this chunk, so I'll just draw a bigger one. Okay, so so this is a, and we know this is w one divided by two. So this is ninety degree, right? And then this one, let's call it um, lowercase a equals um, uh, equals um, um, <laughs> hell. So, uh, let me just do this. Sine a sine a equals a divided by w one divided by two. So a a equals sine a times w one divided by two. Okay, and then this one, um, this uh, this one. Let's call it uh, maybe let's call it b b equals same b equals instead of a sine this will be cosine a times w1 divided by 2 so now we know a and b so we can go find <coughs> excuse me uh, we can go find so let's select this point okay so we need to um so currently it's 0 0.3, um, yes, which means it's starting from this point. So let's change this to segment length. So now this is 990 from this point to this point. So we just need to create the parameter. So this one will be um, B. Okay, so let's create a parameter. Let's call it B. Instance OK and OK. And then select this point. So this offset will be A instance OK and OK. So now if we um, and OK, so this one, this one, because this one equals B, this one equals two times B. OK, so we just need to change this to segment length. Um, and let's just create, I uh, may just call it three C. OK, so instance OK and OK. And then C equals B times two. And okay, so um, let's just put uh, the formula to into here. So A equals sine A times W one divided by two. So A sine bracket A times um, um, W one divided by two. Okay, so and B equals cosine A. I'll just copy paste this and change cosine to cosine and apply and OK. So now if I connect this point and this point, spline um, reference line, connect this point and this point with a spline reference line, and then, oh sorry, uh, reference line. Now um, I'll just finish this as well. So. I'll select this one. This one will be a segment, and oh hell, let me just change it to back to 0 0.6. So it looks like this point is starting this uh, from this point. So I'll change this to end, okay, and then change this to segment length, and then link this to B, and this one I'll link this to A. And this one, uh, I'll also change this, change the measure from from a beginning to end, and also change this from normalized curve parameter to segment length, and then link this to C, which is two times B. So now I'll select these two points, spline reference sign. Another this this one, the this one spline. And reference sign. So now, if I select these two reference signs, these two reference signs create a form. That's the panel. Okay. So, and let's have a try. So, if I go to family types, so you will see this is the only uh, uh, option for me to change. So, for example, zero will be uh, that's one. That's fine. Will be uh, closed. And ten, open a little bit. Forty-five and 80 so yeah the maximum you can go 90 but um, it will uh, break this uh, family so maybe just we can go 89 maybe let's let me try 91 no that work 
Anyway, so uh, maybe 60. Okay, so that's it. So this is the pattern based family. Now let's um, try to place this one into a mess. Okay, so let's let's uh, create a mess. So in this mess, I'm going to just draw maybe a, a curve, something like this, and I'll create a form. And uh, let me just drag it up a little bit. So I'll divide the surface. I'll maybe increase the number of the panels. Okay and then go back to this uh, family and then load this into that mass. Select this divided surface and, and apply the family one we just uh, did. Okay, so now you will see all these panels being placed onto this mass. And because that in parameter is, a, is an instance parameter, so you can tab and select individual. Uh, oh, hang on, let me just try again tab select so think you can you can uh, you have the option to change uh, each of them to what whatever angle you like and also <clears throat> we can uh, let's quickly do some uh, dynamo so you can use dynamo to control control these panels so instead of you know going to the parameters uh, the properties to change all the um, uh, all the the angles we can do it in here so for this one i'm going to use a rabbit selection so it will be a family type okay so if you see that's the one and all elements of the family type link this so you will see there are 600 of them okay so now i'm going to use a set uh, parameter by name okay so i'll link this element to element and then we need to find the parameter name <coughs> which is a so double click here uh, quote a and link this and we just need value so um you can do this so you can search uh integer inter uh, we can add an integer slider. Uh, hang on, where is it? Oh, here. Yeah. So, for example, you can um, um, zero degree to uh, maybe eighty. Okay, so <coughs> so we can uh, link this to value. So so now you will see it's all one degree, and you can open it up. Okay, so this will apply to each every single uh, fa family. Okay, and also you can do randomize. You can randomize all this, so it's very simple. So you can do this. So why? So first we uh, create a list. So we're going to uh, start from maybe from zero to maybe eighty degrees, and every um, one degree. So this will give us a list of 80 number. So, and then we are going to just um, assign cycle right? So, which is a uh, multiply multiply this uh, list. So, for example, uh, I'm going to once again use a in integer slider or number. Um, let's use integer um, integer slider. And this one, I'm going to start from 10 to 20 because we uh, we only need we, we only have 600 panels. So this is a 60, and then we just the minimum um, 10 times 80 will be 800. So we'll cover the number. So that's enough. Okay. So link this to that, and also if you want to randomize, just use shuffle. Okay, shuffle. And then link list this to value, so it you will see. Um, that's it. So that's some randomized panels. And also, uh, you can if you don't like this pattern, you can just move this. It will uh, instantly change the pattern for you. Okay. And also, if you don't like this uh, randomized, you can just do this. So it will. Uh, um, yeah, it will start from like zero and then go. Oh, which one's zero? Uh, this one goes up 
and goes up to all the way up to 18 and then go back but yeah it's a little bit hard to you know uh, um, create some nice pattern but anyways that's um, some uh, uh, example of using dynamo so uh, you can play with this yourself okay so i'll just uh, close this one and that's it for today okay so if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time bye